Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Hero Sticks. I'm Edward, and I'm back, surprisingly. Uh, and I'm back doing part to the really encouraging response that I've had from folks uh, and the great feedback that I've had from folks about uh, my content, and um, that's been really great. So I'm back again with another knife video for you. This is actually going to be the first of a uh, new series called Confessions of a Knife Noob. Uh, so while I have advanced and progressed and grown and learned a ton in my uh, knife collecting um, early on, uh, I made a number of mistakes. And one of them was related to a really terrific knife that I'm going to talk a little bit about and refresh and redress, and that is the Mass Drop Gent. So I first saw this knife on a review from Epic Snuggle Bunny, and I thought, dang, aesthetically, that's the kind of knife I wanna start with. I'm willing to pay more than what I've paid historically on a knife because I love the way that looks. Um, I love its size. I don't have the pocket clip on right now. I love the blade shape. Um, I had originally not thought a ton about color, so just went with the OD Green and G10. It was very, very smooth. I got the knife, um, and it was okay. Um, it. It didn't have that drop shuddy action or that smoothness that a lot of folks had talked about with theirs. Um, I kind of just grinned and bared it. And at this point, I hadn't done any disassembly. I hadn't taken anything apart. I hadn't done any troubleshooting. So I just kind of suffered with it for a while thinking, okay, maybe this is as good as it gets. Um, and again, do in part uh, to other reviewers that I follow, I started checking out the disassembly stuff and I was like, okay, I, I can get behind that, I can do that. I wanna get to know my knife, I wanna understand how it works. I wanna make sure that um, it has longevity because I'm spending money on this. Um, and that kind of took me to a, a, a next level in the, in the collecting. So I did take apart the Mass Drop Gent and I discovered that it did have some issues. It was filthy inside and the uh, pivot screw um, was misaligned, and so the action was terrible, and so I fixed it. I took it apart, I tuned it, I centered it beautifully, and now this knife's action is superb. In fact, it's got the best action of anything in my collection. So this is the Gent Revisited. Now that I like this knife so much, and now that my sort of visual aesthetic for knives has changed so much, I thought, you know, the OD Green doesn't really do it for me. Um, I'm not a Timascus or a Damascus guy yet, but I wanted to, I wanted to do something special for this little gent. That was a battery notification, and so I did. And so we're gonna dress this guy up a little bit. And so here's an unboxing, I'm gonna rip it and we're gonna see what we've got. I ordered some custom scales that I found for the gent, and I hadn't seen a ton of gents um, kind of modified, and so I've been really inspired by a lot of the mods that I've been seeing. In fact, it's created a bit of urgency for me to kind of make all of the knives that I have my own, even my production knives, and so I picked up a shaman that had a couple, uh, that had some different scales on it. Um, so this is from Ellis Precision. Um, and they've sent a cool sticker here. Um, that will be going on something cool. Uh, and then here's the scales. Check these out. Um, let's see. eBay, yada, yada. Yeah, got it on eBay. Really fantastic stuff. But check these out. So, yeah, look at that wood grain. It's kind of the, like the Van Gogh-y Starry Night colors that uh, Slicey Dicey's got going on, one of his atoms or neutrons, but those are really sick. So we're gonna pop them on. Um, and I'm gonna chat for a few more minutes about what I'm seeing. Um, yeah, there's a really interesting sort of rush going on. Um, there's so many uh, new great knives coming out. Um, it's honestly a little bit difficult to keep up with. Um, and so I think I've decided to try to slow down a little because, man, I just have these long wish lists and, oh my gosh, I got to get that, I got to get that, and I'm going to do some of those things. But I really also want to pay attention to the opportunities to um, 
make knives that I like um, into knives that, that I love. And, um, you know, I've observed and watched so many collection videos and been so impressed and so, like, inspired uh, by some of the collections out there, but I've also felt really burdened because I've recognized it's unlikely I'm ever gonna be able to fill my collection. It's like you got all these checkpoints, well I gotta have a Shaman, I gotta have a Sabenza, I gotta have this and I gotta have that. And some of it's true because there's so many fantastic knives to experience, but at the same time, you don't wanna feel any pressure about that. Like I can't do reviews or I'm not quite up to snuff if I haven't, um, where did the screw go? Uh, if I haven't handled all the knives that other folks have. Um, and so, I'm not sweating it. And so what I wanted to do was give a little love to all the knives that I have. The Shaman that I've got with the Fireside Company, my card of scale, sorry, this, um, this scale screw is really bad news right now. I've had this issue before with the gent, actually. Um, the hardware on these things um, are not great, and man, I ventured into, so I'm just putting some of the blue stuff on, I forget the name of it. Um, ventured into some of the forums on this, and people were super pissed about, um, the screws on the gent getting ripped out and shredded out super easy. Um, and it's true. I mean, this is happening for real right now. So let me just swap these over. Um, the grip's terrible. And mine gets super caught up every time. Ooh, yeah, you little bastard. All right, there you go. Uh, this is this is live real tubing, um, and so anyway on the on the drop site and honestly like I've had really good luck with drop. I love some of the things that they um, pull together, um, and there's been questionable customer service at drop and things of that nature. Overall, my experience has been pretty good. Um, I picked up the QSP Penguin there for like twenty bucks, which was fantastic. Um, almost done here. I'll just show you a peek of this and then we'll close this out. So anyway, um, kind of a ramble, kind of a rant, but here is the gent. Just a couple more little screws here. Customized. And this knife, this gent now feels like a real winner to me because it has the best action on it and it was not that way out of the box. And so I made it my own in that way. And I'm kind of proud of that. And now, it's got an aesthetic that I can totally get behind because again, making it my own just feels that much cooler. Now that's a badass gent. And I haven't seen many others like that and so that feels really cool too. So there you have it, Confessions of a Knife Noob, the Mass Drop Gent Revisited and just That worked out pretty well. That's it. See you on the next one.